Sir, but invite your friends and family. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go for heat number one. Zane Beerman and Austin Edwards have the front row. Ed Sr., Brian Hewitt on the second. Timmy Martin, Scott Snodgrass on the third. Ryan McDaniel, Kendrick Cryer on the fourth. Brendan Tymon and Edmund Jones rounding out the field for heat one. Man, this is a stacked field. That's what I was just thinking. Uh, it is hard to predict which driver would come out on is going to come out on top of this one. Wow, look at that! Well, we've got Brown Hewitt up. Here. Especially, <laughs> especially with Austin starting on the front row. Austin did not qualify, so with the invert, that puts him up front, but he is not taken to the grid yet, nor no, has St. Beerman. Is he not going to run the... He might not run the heat races. That would be a bit of a shocker, but, you know, he uh, might be hiding, uh, might be sandbagging it just a little bit as always tina cheering on ryan mcdaniel doing good tonight tina ryan starting currently back in seventh for heat one but if we uh if zane and austin don't grid here in the next few sec seconds that'll move everybody up a row yes it will that put uh senior on the pole wouldn't it uh, yeah it would you know how Senior does when he gets up and start at the front. He's going to walk off. Yes. I've, he, seen him do it. I've seen him do it. It'll be interesting to see how he does with VR tonight, too. Sorry, I had uh, hiccups there for a minute. Zane Beerman is, looks like he is going to start from pit road, but everybody is going to move up, so... Ed Sr. starting on the pole tonight. This could get a bit interesting. Hey, thank you so much for the stars, Tina. You think Ed Sr. can hold everybody off for a heat? I've seen him do it. I've seen him do it in late model. I've seen him walk off and leave everybody in late model. So I, I, if he hits his marks, he can do it. He is definitely fast and a great teacher. He has taught Angie a lot to help her get uh, up and running. So, a lot of fast drivers in here with Austin Edwards uh, not gridding, though. That, that makes it a little bit easier for everybody in the field. Had he gridded on the front row, he probably would have walked off with this. Yes. Here we go, out of four, pace car is in. Green flag is in the air. Heat one is underway at yeah. Phoenix. And they're already going with three, four wide. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely going side by side. Everybody is full send. Zane Beerman on his way off pit road. Now they are three wide through the kink on the back straight, straight away. Kendrick oh, just but, shoots it Kendrick up. Kendrick just dived it in there. Man, Kendrick held on to it. That car was way, way out of shape. Senior still has the lead, but Kendrick right on the bumper looking to the high side through one and two. Scott's having problems behind Brian there. He's got it on the inside of him now. So. Scott. Scott has spent some time away from, oh, spent oh, some time first. away from iRacing, but has come back with a vengeance here recently as Kendrick Cryer now goes to the lead. Edmund now to second, senior still, oh, oh. oh. junior and senior get together and that opens the door. As Brendan Tymon now on the attack for second, Kendrick just running away. Yeah, they got together there. Hopefully, 
Eddie can run him down, but I don't know how many laps. What is it, eight laps, ten laps? Seven to go, and a, now a 2.1 uh, second lead at the moment. Mm. Not too bad Eddie ain't got nitrous on it. <laughs> that would come in handy, that is for sure. Ed Sr. still holding on to third. Ryan McDaniel now up into fourth. I'm afraid of saying too much, though. Every time we start saying good things about Ryan, everything goes wrong for him. Him and Scott is battling that. Oh, Scott's in the grass. Scott's in the grass. Oh, he hit the inside wall. <laughs> well, heat number one has not gone well for Brendan Tymon or Scott Snodgrass. Edmund just the fastest lap of the heat but still 2.3 seconds back well I believe Kendrick just tied it up by winning this right here I do believe you are right Ty Brendan Tymon did end up with a meatball after his problems early on so he is having to get repaired. Meanwhile, Kendrick, a 2.3 second lead. He's led a lap. He's led the most laps. And if he gets the win here, he will lock up the championship. Now the really important question, Richie. Your preference, this, this version of Phoenix or the new version? This version. I like, the, I like this old version right here. That, it's better. That is the right answer. It's way better. It's more of a driver's track. I like it where it's flat, a little bit of banking. I just, I don't like the new one. Plus, there's no little shortcut out there to, to battle and end up in some chaos coming back up the back straightaway. Yeah, they messed Phoenix up. <laughs> It's, it, it's like I messed up Atlanta. Atlanta's messed up now. Yeah, I have to agree on that one. Kendrick Cryer coming around. We'll get the white flag one more time to go. Matt Moniak is calling for a drug test for Kendrick Cryer and probably post-race inspection for the car as well, I'm guessing. Yeah, you got to catch him first. You got to <laughs> catch him cheating before you can say anything. White flag is in the air. Kendrick Cryer will come around, and as long as he does not lose it, Kendrick Cryer will win heat number one and lock up his championship. Well, oh, Eddie tried it. He tried it. I have to give him that. Edmund, I think if he, they hadn't gotten separated early on, Edmund might have had a shot at him, but it wasn't enough. Kendrick Cryer wins Heat 1 and wins the championship. Yep, he lost it up by doing that. Oh, apparently Moniak would like to drug test the broadcasters because he prefers New Phoenix over old. I hate to tell him he's just wrong. Well, you know how young he is, so he don't know no better. <laughs> yeah, he's just a pup. On, yeah. Man. On to Heat 2, Chris Johnson and the rookie, Ray Muellendor on the front row, Becky Snodgrass, Matt Moniak on the second row, John Barry, Vern Spring on the third, Kyle McReckin, Martin, Andrew Thornton, and Austin Minnett round out the field. I'm going to watch the back. The back is what's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> McReckon and uh, Andrew trying to come through this, and Austin, man, was he fast in practice as Steve Seams is cheering on Matt Moniak, and Chris Johnson is not gritting. Oh, is he not? Well, I'm going to pull for Matt because he pulled for me the other night, so <laughs> I, I hope he wins his seat race. But uh, the main race, I... I don't know. I don't know who I'm going to pull for. It's definitely going to be a tough call. Obviously, I'd like to see uh, a new driver pull it off. I'd like to see Andrew Thornton finally get a feature, another feature win. He is long overdue, but there's several others. Ryan McDaniel's long overdue. 
Uh, Moniac's had several close calls with Victory Lane. Vern Spring has been a while since he's been to Victory Lane. Oh, Matt just chatted in the chat here said Joplin for president. <laughs> <laughs> Chance Matterick said, no Phoenix for him. We are definitely missing you tonight, buddy. Hey, I, I'm good with Richie for president. <laughs> Becky Snodgrass will now have the inside front row. And everybody else is trying to catch her right now. Can she get the uh, good launch and they chase her the rest of this one? Hey, oh. I bet Cody sit here just walk off and leave him. It definitely would. Pace car is in. Green flag is in the air. Heat number two is underway. Becky sends it. John Barry right on her bumper, but there's a little bumping into turn one. Oh, she's spinning. She's oh, spinning. Becky got loose. Collected John oh. Barry. Oh, Matt got involved. No. Burn Spring, Becky, and Matt Moniak all caught up. Let's take a look. Becky out in front just gets loose coming out of turn two. Vern has no, he tries to go to the bottom to avoid it. See what happened with Moniak. There was obviously a big stack up, up at the front. Moniac just nowhere to go, plows into the car ahead and slams the safer barrier. Mm. Vern's, uh, Matt Moniac did have to tow to pit road and now McRacken to the lead. Nope, it is John Barry, excuse me, in the lead. Wow. Looks like the scoring got a little wonky on our end. We'll have to wait for the next lap, but... It's saying that McRickon's got the lead on mine. Yep, it looks like now that it's finally updated, looked like it got a little confused when Becky and uh, Matt went to pit road, but uh, it is Kyle McRickon, Martin to the lead. However, Andrew Thornton just set the fastest lap so far as he closes in on the top two. Austin Minute up there battling with McRickon, opening the door for Andrew. Well, hopefully Austin and McCray can get racing real good and Andrew just go right on by. <laughs> that would definitely be awesome. Andrew uh, has had several heat wins and finally got a feature win at the end of the last uh, full season. We'll see if he can get back there tonight. Vern Spring was stopped on the bottom of the track. He did tow to pit road, so Vern now on pit road. He must have got caught up in that wreck, too. Got a little bit of damage. It did look like he was down on the inside, so I'm guessing he had some damage, tried to make it work, and it finally just gave out on him. Andrew Thornton all over the back bumper. Austin Minute unable to do anything so far with Kyle. Although he almost did something into turn one. Looks like Minute can drive in just a little deeper and almost got to McReckon's bumper. Well, if he goes up there and just rattles his cage a little bit and don't wreck him, I'm fine with that. Oh, yeah. Especially we got four laps to go. You get down to that last lap and everything, just about everything, is fair game. Other than just flat dumping somebody. Yeah, the white flag comes out, though, well. <laughs> That's definitely the case. Chance, I doubt I have faith in you, Chance. Coming around there, we'll get three laps to go. The top three still nose to tail. John Barry, after he had oh, caught up. Oh, in there. After that Austin. Oh. Austin just dove it in there on the side of uh, McRaggan. Sorry about that. No, no, sorry, sorry. You're good. Uh, yeah, Austin threw it in there. Is now dead even gets a push from Andrew into turn three. 
Andrew, a little squirrely coming out of four, loses some ground there, but uh, now Austin even with McCracken. Oh, does a slight job work? Nope. Almost Austin done, worked. Austin done smart thing right there because McCracken wouldn't have lifted. Austin down into turn three, still on McCracken's inside. Andrew Thornton lurking right behind. Has the uh, advantage of momentum here. White flag is in the air one more time around Ken. Austin hold off McRick in here. And can Andrew find a hole and slip through? John Barry back and forth. <laughs> if this goes wrong, might have a shot. Oh, Andrew oh. Thornton ends up in the wall with Austin Minute. Kyle Martin is going to pull off the win. Man, that was... That was some great battling that ended badly there. McRecken gets the win. Andrew did manage to limp across in second. John Barry managed to come around to get third. Newcomer uh, Ray Muellendor in fourth and Austin Minute ends up in fifth. That car just won't go. Uh, yeah. He dove it in there deep, got a little tight, slid up. It was just good, tight, tight racing. Well, as much as they were racing side by side there and, uh, you know, almost three wide at points, that things got a little sketchy there. You kind of knew something like that was going to happen. It was just a matter of was it going to be Kyle and, and Austin or was it going to be Andrew and Austin, and it turned out to be Andrew and Austin as they go out for warm-up. Track temperature is currently 120 degrees, and I know the drivers were talking about it in practice. The track temp was 127 degrees. They were losing tire wear and grip like crazy all night. So it'll be... That's rough. When I joined in, it was 128 degrees, so it dropped eight eight degrees. So maybe it uh, it it may very well be substantially better. I saw it when I first hopped in. It was 122. After about halfway in practice, is when that temperature really started shooting up. This being one of the legacy tracks, though, uh, doesn't have all the oval refresh stuff, so a bit different in the way it reacts to tires and uh, heat being put into the track. Kyle Martin, Kendrick Cryer out in the lead, but uh, Ed Sr. just set the fastest lap in warm-up. Man, that uh, VR headset is making one heck of a difference for Sr. Wow, well, they're out there picking on each other, not even making laps. <laughs> <laughs> That is a pretty yeah. common thing between those two, David Lux, a few of the others that get out here and just uh, use warm-up as an opportunity to bang into each other a bit. Yeah, I just saw Andrew go in there and beating up on Kendrick and everything. So. <laughs> well, you got to have fun during the warm-up. Most of these guys uh, have had enough laps with the uh, practice, with qualifying. And with their heats, they're not going to learn a whole heck of a lot more during that five-minute warm-up. But it does give them a chance to bang into each other a little bit, maybe blow off a little steam so any frustration doesn't carry over from the heat into the feature. Yeah, I like, I like picking on Ryan. Uh, I hope he don't take me seriously, but I like picking <laughs> on old McDaniels. Uh Angie does Sorry. as well, which is kind of funny, but. Hopefully... I pick on Andrew. <laughs> yeah, I've been picking on Andrew for years. And hopefully Ryan can finally get the uh, long overdue good finish because, like we said, the bad luck has been awful. And if you saw last Wednesday night in the Nowski race, uh, the bad luck really hit a... Uh, well, I'll just say, you folks, go to our YouTube channel, look in the Nowski playlist, and 
And look for Ryan's big wreck short. Uh, that was amazing. You even caught a piece of that one, Richie. Yes, it caused damage to my car. How to use a fast repair. <laughs> <laughs> you all, I mean, you drove under him. It just wasn't, he wasn't high he wasn't, enough. No, he wasn't high enough at all. I mean, it would have been better if he was over my car and I had just drove under him and <laughs> no damage. That would have been cool. That would have been uh, pretty amazing. It was definitely a rough night for a few drivers, but uh, back this Wednesday and we'll see if things smooth out just a little bit. Scott? Well, we got that, you got that new track we're trying out. Uh, Twin Ring Rotagi. Yeah, and I've run some practice laps, sir. It's different. <laughs> it uh, definitely is. I don't think we're going to have a big field because a lot of them ain't going to spend the money to go get the track and run it. So I don't know. I could be wrong and show up with 20-some cars. <laughs> so what do I know? <laughs> Hopefully we do. That That is definitely an interesting track. going to be a lot of fun. and if you guys missed the announcement, tomorrow night CRX is having another one of their big money races, free entry, and uh, yeah, it'll be the Pro 2 Lights at Eldora, so make sure you go to the Facebook, look at look that up if you're on iRacing, get in on that, you got nothing to lose and potentially a lot of money to win. Pro 2 Lights? Yeah. That's the trucks. Yeah. A lot of trucks. I know. I fully expect to see you out there tomorrow night, Richie. I don't know. I got Andrew's league coming up. Uh, is Andrew going to pay you money? <laughs> yeah, but there's other ringers in there, so. Uh, not for that combination. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The feature event will have Kendrick Cryer and Kyle Martin on the front row. Edmund Jones and Andrew Thornton on the second row. Ryan McDaniel starts on the third row with John Barry. Ed Sr. and Ray Muhlendorf on the fourth row. Timmy Martin and Austin Minnett rounding out the top ten. Zane Beerman in 11th with Becky Snodgrass in 12th. Brian Hewitt, 13th. Vern Spring at 14th. Scott Snodgrass, 15th. Matt Moniak in 16th. Brendan Tymon in 17th. Chris Johnson and Austin Edwards are scheduled to round out the field. But we did not see them in the heats, and I kind of half don't expect to see them uh, in the feature. Neither driver has taken to the grid yet. Still showing he's here, but he's not. Would be uh, kind of funny for Austin or Chris to show up, start in the back, come out here and, and pull off the win. Kendrick Cryer and Kyle Martin pulling over. They are dropping to the tail end of the field. That will give Edmund Jones and Andrew Thornton a front row starting spot. On this track, I have to think advantage goes to Andrew just from seeing him race here in the past, especially in these cars. He definitely knows how to drive one of these cars, and he is really good at this track. Yes, he is. He, uh, yeah. He's good on dirt, too. <laughs> he is definitely good on dirt, although he has this crazy obsession with non-wing sprints. I, I don't get it. Yeah, he's got me driving them. <laughs> They're a handful. They definitely are. All right, folks, here we go. Through three and four, the pace car about to drop in. Edmund Jones will fire first. Down the front, straight away. Green flag is in the air. The Jones BS winter season finale is underway. That was a good start from both of them. Oh, Andrew on the inside. Yeah, a little bit of a crossover. Looked like Edmund just sent it too deep, and Andrew got, had the opportunity, managed to squeak by. It is still side by side through the rest of the field, and even three wide in the middle of Scott Snodgrass. Brian Hewitt get together. 
Ray Muhlendorf gets caught up and Caution is out for the first time on lap two. Let's take a look and see what happened here. Okay. There is Brian Hewitt and looks like Scott just pushed up, gets into the car to his right. Brian Hewitt has to go through the grass, but I believe looks like it was the rookie Ray Muhlendorf on the high side that got the bump, got turned around, and everybody else uh, went off track trying to avoid it. That's what it looked like to me. He checked up hard. Definitely a rough way to start a season finale, but Andrew Thornton was scored as the leader at the time of caution, so he is out front. Look, look, look at this. Look, look who's in third. I ain't going to say. I ain't going to say. <laughs> I wish I'd have looked for it. Uh, I do too. I, you know, a wreck happens and he's not caught in it. I, I'm pretty ecstatic about that. Chris Johnson has just gone to pit road. Maybe he may be coming back out. On, he may come out on track. Hmm. Maybe throw a wrench in here or it something. Could very well. He is rolling off pit road. He'll be a couple of laps down, but. A caution or two could put him back up there. Lights go out on the pace car. They stack back up side by side. Fortunately, the leaders had crossed the start finish line before the caution, or else it would have been a single file restart by default. And Richie, I know, you know, if a single file restart in these cars, it's really, really tricky to get the momentum up to pass the guy in front of you. Yes, it is. And on single file. I mean, if you time it right, you can get to run, but that's when you start running in the back of people because they're not going or they check up. I mean, it causes wreck that way doing single file. So I like this right here. Yep, and plus a lot more competition when you get them going side by side as a pace car gets ready to pull back in. Andrew Thornton in control of the restart. He fires there away. Green back in the air. Andrew gets a big launch. Wow, he was ready to go. He was there three wide mid-pack. Ed Sr. up the middle. Lost a little momentum out of turn two. John Barry now up a couple of spots. Biggest move though, Brendan Tymon already up 11 spots into six. He just avoided that earlier chaos and kept his foot in it. Meanwhile, Edmund oh. and Andrew are back at it. I better watch out. Kendrick is coming through. He's working his way. He's right behind Tymon. Up to seventh now on the move. It looks like he has followed timing through most of these spots. And you got McRecken just falling right behind him. <laughs> <laughs> and McRecken making moves on the high side. I have noticed he loves going to that high side uh, whenever possible. Meanwhile, Edmund Jones just set the fastest lap so far. Andrew still sits in his draft. That one car, that that one person is in third. Brendan Tyman in fourth. Kendrick now to fifth. These two are on a charge to the front. Oh, Kendrick's on the inside of Tyman. I wondered how long uh, Kendrick was going to stay back there behind Tyman. Time is definitely not going to give it up easily, though. Kendrick comes way up. They almost touch wheels coming through the kink. Yeah, Kendrick would do that. He'll squeeze you a little bit on the inside and outside, make it a little tough, but 
He won't wreck you. I mean, he just squeeze you a little bit, but <laughs> rub and trace him. That is definitely true. Andrew Thornton set the fastest lap last time by, and then Edmund Jones beats it this time by. These two are definitely in a class of their own tonight as they have checked out, but Kendrick Cryer has now cleared into fourth. They might want to start worrying. Yeah, I know uh, Kendrick and the other guy in front of him, they, they've had some run-ins, so I don't know how this is going to work out. <laughs> that is definitely true. Hopefully this goes uh, stays clean, and hopefully that other guy can uh, hold him off. Would love to see him and get a podium finish tonight, but Kendrick, he is on the march. Yeah, I'm watching him. And he's I'm hoping. Oh, oh, he hit the apron. No. Kendrick was looking to the high side, and McRecken is now up into seventh place, right behind Austin Minute. Ed Sr. has unfortunately dropped back to 10th. John Barry in 9th. Scott Snodgrass also on the move. Up 7 spots into 7th. Matt Moniak surprisingly is struggling here tonight. Moniak back in 15th. Hey, good evening, Kevin. Oh, good evening, Larry. Oh, oh, oh. Caution in the back, maybe. McCracken apparently had some problems. Let's see what the heck happened here. They went three wide. I'm watching it now. He came up on the uh, ride there. Oh, yeah, Ryan McDaniel stuck in the middle three wide. McRecken just comes up across the nose, but he gets out of the racing surface, so no caution. Ryan did lose a little bit of ground back in eighth, but he is still in the fight trying to reel in John Barry in seventh. Meanwhile, Scott has now moved up into sixth. And Kendrick Cryer has gone to third place, 1.8 seconds behind Thornton and Jones. Well, they better start drafting each other and pulling away. <laughs> that yeah. is their one and only hope right now. Yeah, I'd like to see somebody else win instead of Kendrick. <laughs> he does kinda have gets, several wins this season. Kind of gets old. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I do have to ask if it was you winning every week. Would it get old? <laughs> no, no, no. Brendan Tymon currently sits in fourth of 13 spots. Austin Minute in fifth of five spots. Scott of nine spots into sixth. Ryan has just moved back, gotten past John Barry back into seventh. Hopefully, now that he's outside the top five, we can say his name without jinxing him. Meanwhile, back, yeah. be <laughs> back behind, uh, Ed Sr. is in quite a battle with Timmy Martin, Zane Bierman, and Kyle Martin trying to fight his way back up. Well, I wish I was out there racing with him. <laughs> <laughs> Edmund and Andrew have stayed tucked in, nose to tail. The gap back to third place, Cryer is still about 1.8 seconds. Cryer's gaining a little bit, but it's measured in hundreds of a second, if not thousands. So I don't know. I think if they, I think if them two stays nose to tail like they are and keep hitting their lines, it's going to be hard for them to catch them. It definitely will be. I think Andrew needs to tighten up just a little bit, but if anybody's going to find their way forward, it's Kendrick. He does have the highest I rating in the league by quite a quite a number, even higher than Austin Edwards, come to think of it. I don't even know his uh, I rating. <laughs> 7209. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Kind of makes you feel a little bit better about uh, him, him beating you, doesn't it? <laughs> well, that's pretty fun. Okay. 
Brenda Diamond currently sits in fourth, is still staying on Kendrick's bumper. These two could potentially work with Austin Minute. Maybe get a draft up. Uh, this is one of those tracks that's kind of an oddity because it is considered a short track at one mile and it's flat, but it is really aero dependent here. Yes, I, uh, you get a little bit of damage, you're done. You, you just anywhere on your car, you're done. Ryan McDaniel is now closed back in on Scott Snodgrass. Kyle Martin just moved past Timmy Martin. Kyle now back up to ninth, sets his sights on John Berry and some lap traffic starting to get mixed in here and there. Well, hopefully McCrecky can move himself back up there and finish the top five or three. You know, I mean, anything can happen. Chris Johnson is out there still showing about a lap and a half down at the moment, but uh, he is laying down some fast laps. However, he does have the uh, freshest tires on the track by a couple of laps at the moment. Yeah, so I think they, we don't do no tire change, so they have to save our stuff and not burn them off. So we have no sets of tires. He does that. Well, being that he started a couple laps late, he might actually have a little bit of an advantage. Not seeing a whole lot of tire fall off after about 25 laps. Edmund Jones, fastest lap, 28.31. Last time by 28.31. 6-1, so not losing a whole lot. However, they are losing time. Kendra Cryer now just one and a half seconds back. Oh, he's on his way. <laughs> he, he definitely is. Timon uh, able to stay with him. Looks like Austin Minute also able to stay in his tire tracks. So we well, could end up with a five-car battle late in this one. Kendrick's good to follow, to learn the lines, do what you're doing wrong, uh, but he pulls away too fast sometimes for you to really get a fix on what he's doing. <laughs> that could be problematic if you're trying to learn from him, that is for sure. And I mean, that's the only way you're going to learn. That's the only way you're going to learn. You jump in some races, it's got the fast guys in there, and they're going to, you know, just by watching them, it's going to teach you, you know, Ed Sr. is around. He had a problem a moment ago. Let's see what happened. Lap 25. Battling with, looks like Vern Spring. Oh, Vern gets a better run mid-turn. Gets into Sr.'s bumper. They both end up on the apron. Sr. gets loose. Almost sends it to pit road. And that drops oh. Senior way back to 16th now. Edmund Jones, Austin Edwards, still the top two, but one and a quarter seconds back and closing is Kendrick. And they are about to be in lap traffic again. Looks like Becky Snodgrass just ahead of the leaders. Becky currently scored in 15th. She drops to the bottom on the front straightaway. Let's the leaders get by. Oh, this is going to be close as they go off into one and two. Becky stays high, lets them get by, but uh, that did allow Kendrick to gain a lot of ground. He got by Becky much better. Now, just nine-tenths of a second back. It's kind of inevitable. Caution is. Oh, caution is out. Caution is out. Scott Snodgrass involved. There's Scott battling. So, oh, just comes up the track into Ryan oh. and gets turned around and smacked into the wall. No. 
Dover down in there is doing good. Only our mm. second caution of the night, but a bit of a heartbreaker. Let's see if we can get a look at Ryan's car. He did get pushed up into the wall and has had two cars come across the nose, but as of right now, that car looks okay. However, with these cars that lack fenders, it's really hard to tell how much damage they have taken. Ryan is going to pit road, and did you see who just pulled off pit road? No, I did not. Austin Edwards is out on track, and Chris Johnson may be in position for a wave around here. Have to wait and see who's... No, Becky Snodgrass got the lucky dog. She is back to the lead lap. So Becky's still in this fight. Hopefully she can find some speed here. Matt Moniak also came to pit road this time. Looks like fuel. They don't have tires to change, so... Maybe they did get fuel. Maybe they need some, but I don't see why. I mean... Well, I have to say, uh, a couple of the drivers a couple of weeks back did mention the fact that the car handled better with a full fuel load. Could be the situation with Matt that he needed to uh, get some fuel in the car to help it turn better. Balance the weight out, and it might uh, might help it rotate through the turn. Ryan McDaniel came back off pit road in 10th. The car fully repaired. Andrew Thornton was leading at the time of the caution, so he will be in control of the restart. Well, that bear washes. They got old Kendrick behind them and Tymon and Austin, and look at here, McRacken recovered. Yep. McRecken got really lucky on that one. Now back into sixth. Here we go. Pace car heads to pit road. Andrew fires. They are away and green is in the air. Brendan Tymon has been behind Kendrick most of the night. Kendrick clears him. Tymon, though, right on his bumper. Wow, gave him a good shot. Yeah, he did. And opened up the door. Here comes McRecken underneath. Now McRecken underneath Kyle, or underneath Kendrick. Looks like Austin Edwards may have had a problem back behind, but Austin a lot of laps down. Not in the fight here, just coming out to turn some fast laps, I'd imagine. Brendan Tymon still in fifth, Austin Minute in sixth. John Berry seventh, Timmy in eighth, Vern Spring in ninth, Brian Hewitt in tenth. Zane Beerman 11th, Ryan has dropped to 12th, Scott in 13th, Matt Moniak in 14th, and Becky still holds the lead lap in 15th. Meanwhile, Kendrick Cryer just set the fastest lap of the race. He looks to the high side. Yeah, he's giving them room. He's uh, doing his thing. He, he, he's going to... <laughs> I could be wrong, oh. but I think he got the wall on the back straightaway and almost got it there out of four. I thought old McRecken was going to get him there for a second. Edmund Jones is not going to give up to Kendrick easily here. He knows that Kendrick's already locked up the championship after winning his heat, but uh, he's going to make him work for victory lane tonight. Yeah, he just needs to drive in the side of him. That's what he needs to do. <laughs> Just turn right. <laughs> Edmund, turn right. <laughs> now they need to keep an eye on McRecken back behind. McRecken is always fast in these cars. Currently sits in fifth. Brendan Tymon has put on quite a show tonight, too, of 13 spots into fourth. Yes, I don't, I don't know him. He's a new one. 
John He's Barry. Been doing a good job. John Barry now back up into seventh. Timmy Martin in eighth. Fern Spring is now up to ninth and Hewitt in tenth. Some of these drivers are starting to come back as Ryan McDaniel's battling with Zane Beerman. I noticed that about John Barry. He sometimes gets in some trouble and stuff like that, or he falls back. But at the end of the race, he's always up there in the top five or top ten. He is definitely one that gets caught, but marches back up, kind of like uh, another guy I know who can't race tonight because he got in a little trouble last week. Yeah, <laughs> I get like that every now and then. <laughs> I like my car when it starts getting the tires starts wearing out. You got to drive it a little bit, you know. That's when I have my fun. Yeah, I yeah. Like <laughs> And you definitely do. Timing almost had the nose in on Kendrick. Kendrick shut the door. And I don't know how many times he's going to do that. I don't, I don't know. Like my, it's I don't like my nose being chopped. Yeah. And he's definitely chopping the nose a little bit here tonight. He holds on to third. You know he wants to finish the season off with the win, but... I don't know if he's got the speed to get around Edmund and uh, Andrew at this point. They up there just need to block the track. That's what they need to do. Just block the track. Make him work for it. Then if he tries it, you know, rough him up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say Edmund, and Edmund uh, Brendan Tymon, and Kyle Martin have all given Kendrick Cryer a bit of a battle tonight. And while he's exceedingly fast, there's only so much tire wear before that car starts falling off more than the other drivers. Whereas Andrew Thornton and Edmund Jones, they have not battled at all tonight. They're about to though. Edmund looks under Andrew into three. Looked like old Eddie throwed a little block here. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good because that was kind of Andrew went up, and he went low. That was pretty cool. It definitely was. There's obviously some a uh, little bit of cooperation going on here. Edmund Kendrick. now to the high side. <laughs> this is, is going to be interesting. <laughs> it definitely is. That Kyle is not far behind, but Brendan Tymon is sitting there lurking, just waiting for caution. Caution is heck? back out with 23 laps to go. What happened? I don't know what happened. Let's see if we can find out. I don't see why that was. I am not sure on that one either. Looking through the field to see if anybody has had a... Nobody's coming to pit road. Chris Johnson. Uh, there was somebody wrecking back behind off of turn four. Ryan McDaniel and Zane Beerman were battling through turns three and four. Oh, Hewitt goes up, drifts. The uh, Red Bull car of Zane Beerman checks up, and yeah, that track out of turn four, whoa, it whoa, stacks whoa. up quickly. Did Ryan get caught up in that again? Uh, just barely. It looked like Ryan was able to uh, navigate his way through the worst of it. He kept it off the wall, got a little bit of Beerman on the nose, but does not look like the car is hurt. And he did get the position, Ryan now to 11th. Andrew Thornton still has the lead, but at the time of caution, Kendrick Cryer was in second. Andrew just lost the help he had.
Ray Muhlendor is uh, apparently out of the race. Nope, he is there, but he is really having a connection issue. And Ed Sr. gets the wave around back to the lead lap. Lights are out on the pace car. This is going to be interesting. Well, Andrew has the bottom line with Edmund right behind him. Cryer on the top has uh, Timon right behind him. You know Edmund is going to give Andrew a big, big push here. Will it be enough to keep Kendrick behind him? Yeah, I'll be hollering at him. Come on, Eddie. Push me, push me, push me. <laughs> You don't often see bump drafting at Phoenix. You're about to. I think it's getting ready to get interesting. It definitely is. Still 16 cars on the lead lap after uh, Senior gets waved back around. Still very much anybody's race here. 20 laps to go. Green flag is back in the air. It'll be 19 to go at the line, and Edmund clears. Yeah, that was oh, a coordinated restart right there with Edmund and Andrew. It's going to the high side, Eddie. It's going to the high side. <laughs> The question is, can he make it work on the high side, especially knowing McRecken is looking underneath? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh. Oh, Kendrick. Wow, how does he do that? I don't know, because uh, if it had had the least little bit of net code at that moment, Kendrick would have been face first into the wall. That does not get any closer. I would have tried that. I would have got turned. <laughs> you and me both. Single file out front. The driver's likely just trying to hold on, waiting for somebody ahead to make a mistake and give him an opportunity. And Kendrick is all over Edmund's back bumper into three. Goes high. Oh, he's got a rump note. Oh, man. It is still anybody's race, but the way these guys are racing, we could see another incident, another caution at any moment. Yeah, McCrackett can uh, cause one. He's beating on the back of Kendrick here. Time is just being patient. Nope. Austin is doing, doing the same thing. He's being patient, which is pretty good. Timmy Martin is also starting to close back up on this group. He lost a little ground, but uh, he is starting to pull back up, and it does look like Vern is also starting to pull back up. Anything happens in this with this front three or four cars, the entire field is going to be back together again, but... If it happens off turn four, you know as well as I do, here at Phoenix, out of turn four, something goes wrong. The track gets clogged up in the blink of an eye, and there is nowhere to go. Phoenix, big one. <laughs> Definitely. John Barry now back in at ninth, and look who's in tenth and moving forward. Ryan right on Barry's back bumper, looking for a move. He looked down to the inside into one. Couldn't get the run, but Vern almost went too high through one and two. Matt Moniak is now up into eleventh place. He has come through a lot of traffic while Hewitt. And Scott battle for 12. Cryer finally got to the high side on Edmund. Can Edmund hold him off? He's not. 
Eddie's not quitting. No, no, he ain't. Ed Sr. has had a problem. Becky Snodgrass has had a problem. And Caution is out with just 12 laps to go. See what happened here. Ed Sr. Becky Snodgrass side by side out of four. Becky came up as Ed came down. And the two car, Ray Muhlendor. Uh, he got sent to pit road. I think this may be what you call an unplanned pit stop for Ray. Yes, that was very important. <laughs> but he, he came back out. <laughs> well, that is definitely one for the books. I, I've been broadcasting for three and a half years now. I have never seen that happen. I've seen cars get sent to pit road. I've never seen one get sent over and then come right back out at the... Uh, at the gap in the wall. <laughs> Something new every day. Kendra Cryer now scored in second. We'll start on the high side of Andrew Thornton. But Edmund will start right behind Andrew, and they made this work last time. What do you think, Richie? Can they hold them off one more time? Uh, yes, if they time it right. He's beating, He's probably going to be expecting an early start, so they're going to have to surprise him and make him mess up a little bit. So I don't know how it's... they got to play that starting game, restarting game on him. Well, they do not, uh, they are in separate radio channels tonight, so Kendrick won't be able to listen in. As yeah, but Kendrick has got what? He's, you said 7,200 I rating. He's seen everything, so mm -hmm. he, know, he knows what's going to happen. So. Yeah, Kendrick uh, with that high I rating is, uh, is definitely seeing just about everything there is to see. Here we go, though. Lights are out. They come through got, the backstretch kink. You got McRecken right behind Kendrick, so he, you know McRecken's going to be pushed. Oh, most definitely. These two work together almost as well as uh, Edmund and Andrew. The one difference, McRecken always wants to beat Kendrick. Edmund may be willing to sacrifice the win to get Andrew into victory lane. Yes. And there we go. Perfect launch. Once again, Andrew clears. Edmund is almost clear. And they did it again. There's a car loose coming out of two. Oh, Kendrick timed it to get on the inside. That is the first opportunity Kendrick has had to the inside on Edmund. Kyle Martin lurking right behind. Kendrick better not go up because Eddie ain't going to give him room. Scott Snodgrass has had a problem. He is on pit road. No caution. He cleared the racing surface. Edmund is back uh, underneath Kendrick. That was a heck of a crossover move by Eddie there. <laughs> it definitely was. That was uh, definitely some dirt track crossover move, and Kendrick has the momentum out of four. Can Edmund send it deep in there? Hasn't had, hasn't been able to hold that inside line again, but uh, Andrew oh, is walking on, Andrew. like crazy. Come on, Andrew. You got five more laps, buddy. Five to go at the line. It is a four-car breakaway. Austin Minute now three-quarters of a second behind. Battling with time and Vern Spring, Timmy Martin. Oh. 
And Edmund lost some ground. McRecken now on the high side. Andrew is all alone. If Andrew hit his marks, just I think he can he can do it. Chance Maderick was in this situation not long ago. And on the last lap, got the bump from Kendrick sent into the wall. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Will Kendrick <laughs> do the same thing tonight to pull off the win? He may have the momentum out of four. They're dead even at the line, three to go. Go up, Andrew. Squeeze him, Andrew. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew just needs to send it into three as high as he possibly can. Because you know, he, Kendrick will do the same. He'll squeeze you. Oh, he definitely will. I've raced my side of him. I know what he does. Two laps to go at Phoenix. Andrew has the nose ahead. Cryer on the high side gets oh. the exit momentum. And Cryer clears into the lead. Now, does Andrew rattle his cage? Come on, Andrew. Oh, he's got to run right there. He's got to run. White flag is in the air. Andrew's got the momentum into one. Cryer shuts the door. Edmund sitting back in third. Will Andrew, he's got one more shot through three and four. He drives it in. Almost gets him. He runs to the high side. And it won't be enough. Kendrick Cryer wins and takes yeah. home the championship. Andrew Thornton coming home in second. Edmund Jones comes home in third. What a wild Wild finish. That was a good finish. It definitely was. Let's see if we can talk to our top three. Starting with Edmund Jones. Edmund is Doug. You got me? You're muted, by the way. <laughs> yes, sir, I do. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's all good, man. That was one heck of a run, and you're definitely willing to sacrifice your position to protect Andrew there till the end. You know, it was one of those when me and him were together there and in the beginning. Told him, hey, just let me lead a lap. Let me get the point. And he let me by, and we just started pulling. And it's like, okay, I, I, I know I can't win the championship right now, but... You're going to win this race if, hey, if it comes down to it. <laughs> it got really, really close. You guys definitely had the restarts nailed all night. Yeah, I mean, it, it was one of those just had to be on his bumper, and as soon as I saw him go, it was, it was go time. I was pulling for you there, Eddie. I was pulling for you. Yeah, it, it was a great run. I mean, I, I was really hoping we could get Andrew a win in the winter season, but sometimes it just doesn't play out that way. Kendrick is a hell of a driver, and we did everything we could to everything we could to fight him off, but, man, it, it was a hell of a race either way. Definitely was, man. Congratulations. A great end to the season. Thank you, guys. Edmund comes home in third. Andrew Thornton coming home in second. Andrew, that had to have been the heartbreak of the year, even for us. Oh, man. It was a good time. I kind of kind of figured when I made a couple of restarts of Kendrick to my outside, it was a matter of time before it turned into a race. And, man, it, it turned into a good one. That was fun. <laughs> How close were you to uh, rattling his cage on that last lap in three? So oh, he, he telegraphed exactly what I was doing into turn three. We both sailed that off to about mid-corner. <laughs> <laughs> you could definitely tell you sent it in there ready to go. Oh, it, both of us did. Both cars on the rev limiter about halfway through the corner. It was neat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, man, you definitely earned the win tonight, but you come home in second. A great, great job, buddy. Yep. Thanks, Doug. And finally, our winner... Kendrick, you get the win and another Jones BS Racing Championship. Yeah, it feels pretty good. You know, it was a really good race, especially at the end there. I had to get her on Ed and uh, um, Andrew. It was a uh, fun, hard, clean race right there at the end. And I was uh, glad to come out on top and uh, get get at least one race win of the season and uh, close it up with the championship. Well, you closed it up with the championship, but we got to say we were rooting for Andrew to just knock you out of the way on that last lap. How much yeah. were you watching the mirror? Oh, quite a bit. I I knew he was going to send it in there. Just uh, he didn't send it in like Kyle does, and uh, that's what he was missing. <laughs> Nobody was... sends it in like McRecken does. No. Kendrick, I was I was I was, I was, I was saying Andrew's going to send it in there and get Kendrick, but uh, y'all both done the same thing <laughs> man a great job a great finish a great championship congratulations kendrick thank you good job kendrick thank you richie it was definitely a wild night of racing at phoenix yes uh it was i enjoyed it too bad i wasn't out there racing with them but yeah i just had to keep my temperature and my <laughs> temper temper in check <laughs> I completely understand. Well, it was great having you in the booth tonight, buddy. You guys, don't forget to come back tomorrow night for that big CRX money event. Don't forget to go get registered for it. We'll post it again on Facebook tomorrow. We'll share it on Twitter as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did tonight. Have a great night, everybody.